controller, specifically with the joysticks not working properly. Now, this could potentially be a bigger problem than what I can show you in order to fix it in this video, but I'll show you two different easy ways to do it. The first way is a completely free method. The second way does require you to buy some isopropyl alcohol, but I'll get into that in a second. Now, what you want to do is first of all, figure out which specific joystick is causing the problem. Most commonly, you know, these problems arise when either a bunch of dust and debris gets built up around the joystick and then gets into the console or then to the controller and then messes it up in here. So without opening it up or anything, what you can do is first locate the specific joystick that's the issue. So let's say it's the left joystick for this specific case. What you would want to do in this specific position is you want to go ahead and first circulate the joystick around just like this and just kind of get things kind of moving in that specific joystick. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll or just, you know, put the joystick to either the right side, the left side, whatever side you want to do and start off with. And what you want to do is you want to either get an air can, you know, if you have one laying around, or you can just blow pretty hard in this little area right here and just kind of get things, you know, kind of moving out of place and over over there. And then what you want to do is you want to do the same thing like in this corner. So move the joystick in the opposite position, blow right here, do the same thing here, 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 all around the joystick right here. And you can do the same thing for the other joystick. So again, pull it to the side, blow in all these directions right here. And then you just want to circulate the joysticks around just a couple of times. So circulate it around this way and then do the opposite way like this way. And just like how I showed you in the PlayStation 4 video, it's pretty much the same process. But it's very strange because these joysticks are so much newer, I didn't think I would have to do it for this controller. But it seems like people are actually experiencing this problem here too. So that's really the first way. This may not be a permanent fix, but it will be temporary and hopefully enough for you to actually go ahead and either submit it back for, you know, to send it into PlayStation for them to fix it or have it fixed in general. So that's the very first way to fix it. 